What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. I saw this picture online and I thought to myself, I'm a huge McLaren fan and especially the P1. And I thought I have to recreate this in real life. So let's go ahead and try and see if we can do that. So we'll start it off with our burnt orange edition of the McLaren P1 right there. One of the very first releases of the P1. And the one thing I will say about the McLaren P1, you guys, if you've seen me make videos before about the P1, I love the Hot Wheels variation because it is parked in race mode. So we've got the spoiler up. It's got that nice low stance and it's just such a fantastic designed Hot Wheels car. So let's go ahead and start it off right up there. 2015 mainline for our first one. Then we got another 2015 mainline in silver right here. You can see this one, nice lines with the silver. We've got the silver chrome 10 spoke wheels on there. There's that spoiler up there. Great detail with that center exhaust in the back, the tempo work at the front. Just an all around great looking McLaren P1 in silver. So we'll go ahead and throw that one up. And then we got to our 2016 mainlines and we've got a blue one from the 2016 mainline right here, our first one. There it is, does not look great. So very similar to the silver one I just showed you, same wheels except this one in just a nice looking cobalt blue color. Does not look great. Absolutely love that one. I'll go ahead and put that one up there. Then one of my favorite ones released because you guys know how much I love yellow. Yellow and blue, kind of my two favorite colors and you can see 2016, I mean, yellow and blue. Gotta love the two releases of those ones right there. So there is this one. We've got the gray wheels on this one and the McLaren official color, they call it volcano yellow. And I think, you know what? That's a great imitation of the volcano yellow for McLarens in real life. There we go. So 2016 main lines are those two right there. Then we got into the 2017 Forza Motorsports set. And this one is kind of like a, a like an orangey, reddish orangey color color but uh nice to say i like this one it's got the nice looking graphics and stuff all on the side right there gray wheels on this one you can see all the graphics on the front there's the forza motorsports logo right there as well just a good one all around looks like very race car ish and then we get into the 2017 mainline black with the red kind of trim right there. And this one was part of the then and now series in the main line. We had the black McLaren F1 GTR that came out to kind of be the then variation. This was the now variation of it, but I really like this one in the black with the red trim. And we'll go ahead and throw that one up there. Then we got a premium edition for the 2017 release from the Car Culture Cars and Donuts premium set. And this one, a very, very nice paint job. I love all the graphics on the front of it. The little McLaren logo up there as well. And then these tire wheel combination, they just look like they're they're sticking out. Like if you look at it from above, you can see they, they stick out. It's got a very wide stance on this one. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. This one also being premium, the real riders and the metal base. So it's a lot heavier of a feel of the McLaren P1 on this one right here. So go ahead and throw that one right up there. And then our next release was the 2019 mainline. Uh, no, sorry, 2018 mainline, my bad. This was a 2018 mainline. I was gonna think, did they skip 2018? Nope, they released the white one in the 2018. 18 mainlines and there we have this white one right here so first white release of the mclaren p1 it's got that nice striping down the middle right there and gray wheels looks good i do like that one as well so go ahead and throw that one up there then we got a green one which was also released in our 2018 mainlines right there there it is the nice green color same sort of striping as the white one, except this one's a green color. It's kind of a lighter green color, gray wheels on there. Nice looking nonetheless though. We'll go ahead and throw that one up there. And then we did get a Zamac release for 2018 as well. There's our 2018 Zamac edition. So a little bit harder to find, a little bit more valuable of a one than just the standard main lines, but I think it looks great in the mainline edition. And you can see it's got that same striping up the front right there. 
as the previous two releases for 2018. Blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there. Just looks good though, I do like that one as well. And then one of my favorite newer releases, this was 2020, so nothing in 2019 for releases for the P1, but we did get this one for a 2020 release. It's blue, it's kind of a light blue color. And this light blue color is becoming very popular, even with the uh, other McLaren cars are coming out with a lot of light blues, even Lamborghinis and stuff like that with this light blue color. And I really like this one as well. Gray wheels on there, that same similar type of striping on there. We got the little McLaren logo, very, very cool looking, very, very nice. All right, we'll throw that one up there. And then we did get another release for the 2020 mainline, which was this one right here. And this one's kind of like a, oh man, I don't even know. It's kind of like a, a turquoise type color for this one here. And we can see the different wheels on this one right there. We got the nice black on the side. Of course, the blacked out roof on there. Very, very cool. All right, we'll go ahead and throw that one up there. Then we got uh, one of the harder ones uh, to find um, was the Target exclusive McLaren P1. And if you guys saw my YouTube shorts video, I recently released this video of me unboxing this one. This is the most recent McLaren P1 that I got to complete my set of them. But this one, it's white. It's got the red on the side for the Target Red Edition right there, chromed wheels, black base on there. And you can see even just from the front, just look at all that red right there on the front. Very, very nice. What do you guys think of that white one? I mean, let's compare these two white ones. What do you guys think? You like the Target Red Edition or just the kind of classic black trim and stuff like that? I don't know, they're both very, very nice. All right, we'll go ahead and throw the Target one down there. And then we got 2020 Mainline Edition. And this was like a kind of a darker gray color with a black wheels. It's very like stealthy Batmobile type look on there. What do you guys think? It almost looks like it's matte. Like it is, it's it's more of like a satin type. It's like a matte finish with a gloss put on top. So it's kind of satin, but it's not necessarily a glossy color itself, but a very, very interesting color. We're seeing this color pop up on a lot of newer vehicles. It's becoming a very mainline trendy color. So nonetheless, we got it in the McLaren P1 format with the black wheels. And we'll go ahead and throw that down there. And our most recent release, this one right here came in the 2021 multi-packs. Multi-packs only, it hasn't come as a main line yet, but I think it looks great. And I think we might, you never know, we might see this one come as a main line. There's that classic striping down there that we've seen on several other editions of this one though, but very, very cool, very nice looking on this one as well. I know you guys are th thinking, oh my God, he's saying very, very cool, very nice for all of them, but other, they're all just so nice. I really, really do like all of them. If I had to pick just one of my favorite release, you guys know yellow is my favorite color. So I gotta go with the yellow McLaren P1, the Volcano yellow it's a very classic color for the p1 as well but they're all just very very nice this blue one looks really good as well i don't know it's so hard to pick but i'll stick with my yellow one as my favorite you guys comment down below uh your favorite one and also we may be getting another release of this one coming out later on this year or if you think i'm missing any guys comment down below thank you so much for watching this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up and i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye